Let's get into configuring an Azure machine learning workspace. First, let's look at this diagram briefly that shows the overview of how important an Azure machine learning workspace is. It gives you the ability to manage compute instances, manage experiments, pipelines, data sets, register models, work with deployment endpoints, and associated resources. Now that you see the overview, let's go ahead and set it up. First, we'll go to Azure Machine Learning Studio. From here, I'll go to the Add icon. When I go to the Add icon, notice that there's several tabs. The Basics tabs is really the most of the information you'll need to set up initially, and you can get really a long way by just configuring that tab. Also though, there is the Networking tab, which allows you to toggle between a public endpoint or a private endpoint. There is a advanced tab, which allows you to have your own level of encryption, including in this case, you could select a high business impact workspace, and this would limit the amount of information that will be sent to Microsoft. Let's say you were working on uh, maybe a, a medical project or a government project where there were specific requirements, you would select this icon. There are also tags, and the tags are very useful in that it could be a way to monitor costs in your organization. For example, let's say this was the data science team. Uh, I could go through here and put a, put a tag in and say, you know, resource one. And, and this would be something that uh, I could then later put into a cost report. So let's go back here though and uh, go to the basic setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my subscription. In this case, this would be the billing account. And I'm going to select an existing resource group. Uh, in this case, I've already got one set up, so I'll go ahead and select that. Next, we'll go to the workspace details. From here, I can specify uh, the name of the workspace. Here, I'll call this uh, Udacity Workspace. And then I would also go through here and select what region in the United States I'd want to use. In this case, I could leave the US East. That's a good region for me, but there are several other regions that you can select, including Europe, North America, Korea, Japan, lots of different regions. Finally, an important option to remember is that for many of the advanced features, you'll need to select Enterprise. And Enterprise will give you the ability to run things like the advanced AutoML features. Great, now that I've got that set up, uh, I'm gonna go through and say Review and Create. This will go through and run my final uh, evaluation, and I'll go through and do a Create. 